Um, Alright, so I'm going to teach you guys how to make aim down the site. Obviously we can't apply it yet because I haven't got the assets dragged in. So I'm going to make a new JavaScript. I'm going to call this aim. Double click and open in our model develop. Alright, and let's start programming this. Uh, let me turn gas mask off. Uh, why didn't I open the script? I didn't click on 3D gas mask. Strange. Right, so let's start making the variables we need. The first one we're going to need is called apply mode, like so. Then make it a type boolean. And the next one I need is bar object to move. It's going to be a type game object. Next one I need is for smooth. Smooth time. It's also going to be a type float and it's going to be equals to 1.0. That should be fine. Okay, save that. Uh, next part is for positioning. So I'm going to make three positions var position. X and I'm going to call it make it a type float. Sorry, I'm going to copy this once and paste it two more times. Chain this one to Y and this one to Z. Save your script. Um, the next one is for start pose. Which is short for position. It's going to be a type vector three. Okay. Uh, next one is no, that's it, I believe. Yeah, that's all of them. Okay. Um, in our start function, I'm just going to say start pause going to be equal to a type transform dot local position so we're setting our current local position to that variable which is fine underneath function update I'm going to make a function called apply Underneath this, I'm going to make one called function apply off, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, closing curly brace. Okay, and uh, let's start coding this. So the first function we're going to work with is apply, because this is going to apply our position for our aim down the site. So let's start off making a tempor temporary variable called var target position. It's going to be a type vector three. It's going to be equals to vector three dot lerp. Open bracket, close bracket, closing semicolon. Inside here, I'm going to say object. Was it lowercase? Oh, yeah, it was. Object to move dot transform dot local. Why isn't it showing anything? It doesn't matter. Local position. Uh, comma then where we want it to move so vector 3 open bracket close bracket and inside here I'm going to pass through all the positions so position position X comma position Y comma position 
said. And next, we're going to make sure it goes to its new position smoothly. So I'm going to say time dot delta time. This is really bizarre. It should show my drop down list, but it doesn't. Don't know why. Then times that by smooth. Was it a capital S lowercase? S yeah, it's lowercase s. I just saw it this time. Yeah, now it shows it. Weird. Okay. Um, then what I want to do is over here I'm going to say object to move dot transform dot local position equals target position. Okay, what that does is basically we made a temporary robot over here called target position and we assigned something to it. We said this holds all our positions for aiming down the site. So position X, Y and Z and that's a new position for object to move. Over here all we're saying is object to move which is the object that's going to move into the center of the screen which is our gun. Get its transform, get its local position and make its make it equal to target position. Simple as. The next one we're going to work with is apply off. So first of all, over here I'm going to write apply mode equals false. Okay. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make it so that it goes back to its original position. So I'm going to say var target position uh, I just realized something I didn't put the I over here so I'm could have just change that hold on a second yeah otherwise we could we could have got an error because this has the I that doesn't just be careful Okay, let's go, let's go back to where we were. So target position res, short for reset. Once again, it's going to be a vector 3, like so. I'm going to make sure it's equal to a vector 3 dot lerp. Open bracket, close bracket, got to set my colon. Same thing over here. Object to move dot trans form dot local position there we go comma then what's our reset position we have that defined above in the start it's called start pause comma time dot delta the time times smooth not smooth damp smooth time Alright, and um, then we're just going to make sure it's affecting the right object. So, object to move dot transform dot local position equals target position res. Okay, that's apply mode, apply off done. The next thing we're going to work with is update. Save your script. Okay, inside here I'm going to say if open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, closing curly brace, input dot get mouse button down 
open bracket close bracket and um, if we hold in down one we want apply mode to turn on so we're going to say apply mode equals equals false just making sure that this only works if this is currently equals to false so then we can zoom in if it's true that means we are zooming in so once it's false I'm going to say apply mode equals true all right if I can spell true and then I'm just going to call apply okay which is our function and that's fine then I'm going to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace closing curly brace input dot get mouse button up and if we release that key we want apply mode to be equals to false okay and our final bit which we just go over here I'm just going to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace closing curly brace I'm going to put an apostrophe sign then I'm going to put apply mode and then I'm going to hit apply mode sorry then over here I'm going to put apply what did I call it apply mode off yeah apply off open bracket close bracket and closing semicolon and underneath this one I'm just going to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace closing curly brace apply mode is currently equal to true then I'm going to call apply okay and that should work but obviously if you want to go ahead and try if it works you can do but if you want to wait until I actually drag my assets in and set it up you can do this is not finished yet so we also have to make this work with our animation because if you remember in the previous one we made aim down the site using animation and um, some people you know couldn't get it to work properly this will definitely fix it so it needs to have an aim down animation the animation doesn't need to be in the center you can make it you know on the side or whatnot because the script is gonna take that object and put it into the center for us so that's fine and that's that done just gonna make sure there's no errors I'm hoping there isn't there is one unexpected token so let's see what that is I did not put a dot there I put a closing semicolon okay just to show you that error it was right here on line 58 as you can see I had a dot like that which is incorrect we didn't put a closing semicolon so please just be careful with that all right super I mean all our scripts are dragged through I'm pretty happy and um, yeah and guys as always our the scripts are now available on the website so as always thank you very very much for watching this video i appreciate your support it means a lot to me and before i do finish it off as always if you guys have any question please feel free to ask me and um, to do so follow these simple instructions right guys if you have any questions you can email me at hypershade tutorials at gmail.com also at my twitter at Hamad nazir or you can contact me on Facebook, which is facebook.com learn unity 3d. Okay. So that's it guys. I mean, also you can contact me on my Skype, which is in the description. I forgot to add it into the video thing. So that's okay. But yeah, as always guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, I hope you share it. I hope you thumbs it up and I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy.